today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's the NFC Wild Card Round on EA Sports. and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And he comes into this wild card round off of a really good regular season, better than 30 touchdown passes. And he said he feels like he can take some shots against the secondary. In fact, in our meeting, he said not only can he take shots, he expects to do it early. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up a nice yardage on that one. Of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. The give is to Elliott. They had a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Third down, it's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Bruce Arians taking exception to that last call, and he's going to throw out the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On second down, it's Elliott. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaking up down there on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. 
First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. And there's really no underestimator or downplaying the incredible regular season he had throwing the football. When you throw for over 5,000 yards, that's a monster season. He's got an offense that's certainly capable of doing damage in the postseason as well. But he also understands that defense tends to win championships in the playoffs. He wants to find a way to set that aside and advance his team. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Second down at four. Now Brady. There's Evans again, complete. Two plays, two catches. You have a feeling they're going to look for him early and often, and that's to be expected. You got a player of his caliber, why not? And I think it's also a message from them to the defense that you're not going to dictate to us what we're going to do with one of our better players because so often you hear about defenses saying, we're going to take away what you do best. In this case, they're going to move him around, find proper matchups, and make sure they continue to follow the ball to him. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. That throw by Brady incomplete. Here's second and 10. Again, it's Brady. Evans has it left side. Five yards, now it's third and five. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. You can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Throwing on first down is Brady. Complete. It's Henry. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to you know, change up their timing, they're just going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Now, the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll run for the first time with Keyshawn Vaughn. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. Here's Brady. Caught on the slant. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Interesting. Time to find out. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bucs will strike first here in this wild card matchup. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And 
and that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A give to Elliott. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifting, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Tenth carry now for Allian, and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Prescott from the gun. Open man lamb. It's complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now 
Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. To throw again on second down, Brady. Five yards, now it's third and five. Throwing now is Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Oh, and they had him stop short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked like a clear face mask to me. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Brady gives this one to Vaughn. Fighting through, and he's got space. Pass the 20. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keyshawn Vaughn, 47 yards. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Suck up for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield.
Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. Meanwhile, Dak's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. On third and one, here's Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out come the Bucs now. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Brady. They set up the screen for Henry. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. now on first down on the right side this is Miller three yards the game there second down never make the mistake that the slot receivers especially the little guys like we're watching here are just quicker than fast a lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there now Brady again and break the tight ends got it now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 34. Suckup's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, BG, thanks very much. The playoffs are underway. What a weekend this is going to be. This, the first of six games. Meanwhile, in our game, it took a little while to get settled in, but we're in for a battle royale in this second half. And to call the action, let's go back to the guys who've been there all year. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 
One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. First down carry for Henry. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it again with Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Brady now to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff to Henry. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A nice run right there, and we talk this time of year about certain teams, certain players who don't have a lot of postseason history to speak of, and here's a man right here in his rookie season in the NFL, and he's being asked to carry the load at running back for this offense. And he has acquitted himself nicely here in his rookie year, and look, I think we both believe that the burden's a little lighter on backs and receivers than it is on quarterbacks in the playoffs. But that's not to say this is going to be easy. As fast as the NFL game is in the regular season, it's like warp speed when you turn pressure up in the postseason. So let's see how he handles things early. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16, the 40, the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. That's tough there, starting to mount a good drive. Quarterback lets his guard down for just a moment, and it's going to bite him. And I was just about to remark how controlled the game they were here in this third quarter, but that return for six points. We now have a game again. Zerline now for the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position of throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to make it third down and 10. Well, Brandon, we could see that play develop, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. And they'll set up the screen to Vaughn. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. On second down, Elliott. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Dallas. Four yard punt, return of nine. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, that's complete to his running back, Evans. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Brady now on first down. This is Miller, complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. And caught by Henry. And he'll go down at the 28. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. From the gun, it's Brady. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Prescott on first down. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Very nicely done there on the reception, and what an impact this rookie made on this offense, Charles, in the regular season. Yeah, he's a big part of why they are where they are. He stepped into an important role, embraced it, and in a lot of ways expanded it and immediately made a connection with his quarterback. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Throwing, Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Draw play, Elliott. Down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four, they could still get a first down without scoring. Prescott now. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. 
He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Pollard will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken in at the three. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and 10. Brady. And a catch right side by Evans. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven yards, the pick up there. On second down now, it's Henry. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. From midfield, here's Brady. It's caught, it's Miller. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Options galore here, second and a few inches. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Brady. Over the middle, complete. That's Henry. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That catch good for only a couple. To throw again on second down, Brady. And that's complete to his running back, Vaughn. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Able to get away. Oh, this will be incomplete. 
The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Now Brady got to have this one. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A give to Henry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll keep it on the ground. Henry, and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Suckup will put this one right through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. So Dak and the Cowboys down by two, a minute 13 to play. They've got the crowd behind them, and they need only a field goal to survive in advance of these playoffs. Now Dak. Steps away to his left, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Here's Dak. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough cover because he runs his route so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Buying time. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Well, one win down, still three to go to get to the most hollowed ground in sports, but a good start. A terrific start because they get to move on. Unfortunately for the team that lost, it's a long offseason ahead for them now. For Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.